Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'd like you to get yourself comfortable sitting in a chair that supports your body or lying down on your bed. And I'm just going to talk. There may be background sounds. I can vaguely hear neighbours talking or maybe it's a television in one of the neighbours flats because all the windows are open because it's a fairly uh, nice day but it's okay a bit of, a bit of background sounds all right we don't need complete silence and I thought I'd just talk a little bit and you can relax as you listen. You may find yourself getting a little bit bored. And also notice that every now and then you kind of notice that I'm talking. Which means that you've drifted off. And the more you drift, the longer you drift. It seems to be the way and the deeper you seem to drift. And I guess the, the more you relax, the deeper you relax. Which then results in drifting. And eventually you may just continue to drift. Now there's a fly in the room which is annoying me. Now it's been, it's like there's been one fly in this room for about four days. And I'm wondering, you know, am I really that smelly that a one fly needs to just stay here? All the rest of the flies have left saying, he's not a poo, it's not really. And he's saying, I'm sure it's a poo. I'm just going to stick around because I think it's a poo. Like I'm not, I'm a human being, go away. So I can hear it, but I don't know if you can. Which is fine. Go away. It's a, it's a very fast fly. But I don't guess there's that many slow flies, are there? <laughs> They're generally quite fast. The things like that used to really... I mean, it's its annoying, but it's not emotionally affecting me. In the way the things used to in the past. And part of the reason for that is learning to relax another thing is background sound I was possibly the worst person in the world if there was background sound or noise as I used to like to call it background noise I would get furious I'd almost turn into a mini Hulk. Or even, you know, through teenage years into adulthood, I had a real issue. And then I learned to relax. And I did change the word noise for sound. Because the word sound has no emotional connection. There's no emotions really connected to the word sound, but noise, just the word noise, it's hard to say it nicely, 
was it's hard to say it's for it to come out as being a nice gentle word you go to your child's concert at the school in the evening and then you they say how did you like that daddy or mummy and said that was you made a lovely lovely noise what a lovely lovely noise it's like it's always like what a din what a, oh that's that lovely sound of cats screaming oh it's lovely no it's like, lovely the sound was beautiful the noise was beautiful so there's that emotion connected to the word noise but sound it's almost very neutral very just hmm, just the sound so I kind of discovered that my personal reaction to the word sound compared to the word noise was very different and when I started to use the word sound instead of noise to describe what the neighbours were doing or whatever was maybe disturbing me or what I felt was disturbing me I started to realise that something was changing uh, first of all my attitude and then I started to notice times when I was tired. Maybe started to remember times in the past when I was so tired and I was drifting to sleep. I'd literally fallen asleep in public. Uh, this would usually be on a bus or train, you know, public transport. And I was living in London at the time. And it's never quiet in London. You know, it's, it's not, you don't get a quiet bus in London. Well, you didn't back then. And it's, it's not just, it's all kinds of noises. <laughs> I just said noises. All kinds of sounds, should I say. But back then I used to think it was just noise. And I didn't even understand half of what was being, what I was hearing. So it was like a big blanket of different noises. But it didn't stop me from falling asleep. Because I was tired. And as I got a bit older... When I started to remember back to those times when I could really, really easily drift off to sleep so simply, like almost instantly, I was in a really loud environment, not just a bit of sound, but you know, a lot of people, um, traffic, very busy traffic. And usually it was sort of going home from work. So there's a lot of sound, should we call it. But it didn't get in the way of me falling asleep. I remember once I was, I woke up and I was leaning against the window and we just come to a bus stop and there was probably about 60 people at the bus stop, maybe not all waiting for that bus because there was other buses coming and they all seemed to be looking up at me and I realised I was dribbling, <laughs> it's just like this big trailer dribble all over the window and all over myself because I was just fell into a really deep sleep and um, a little bit embarrassing but 
But it's started to get me thinking. I tell you what's weird is just as I was talking about loud, you know, sounds and stuff, my neighbour downstairs started playing music. Loud. I closed the window. So hopefully that'll uh, <laughs> deplete the pollution, <laughs> the air pollution. It's just, he's, I think he's singing or shouting. I'm not even sure what it is. <laughs> anyway. I was sleeping earlier through his music. Not only is it, I don't class it as music. I've never really heard it before, the kind of, what it is he's listening to. I don't really, uh, not heard it, but that kind of, I don't know what it is, but it's not my, it's not my cup, it's not my cup of tea. But it didn't stop me falling asleep because I was tired. I just laid there and I just really relaxed. And I was almost <sighs> easy to relax. I mean, partly practice, I guess, maybe years of practicing. But you know, it's. If the alternative is to feel uptight and stressed and tense and all that stuff, then feeling relaxed is actually much easier, much nicer as an option, you know, an option just to let go and relax in all kinds of situations, it just it just seems like the the better option, the nicer option. Especially when you realise that actually um, we can choose. We always have the option to choose what we do next. Always. And you can choose to relax if that's what you want to do. It's just a choice. And when we choose to do something, that's what happens. It's really, really simple. And I think that's the hardest part of it for some people. Because a lot of people don't like simple. They It's almost like they expect something that's been causing... Um, problems in their life it's, they, it's almost like they need the solution to be difficult and complicated in order to justify the suffering they've been through the discomfort maybe years of it but you don't have to have a solution the solution hasn't got to have anything to do with that you know a solution can sometimes be the easiest thing in the world. Just relax. Just decide to relax. Decide to let go. Decide that you want to feel calm or you just want to go to sleep. Because you've chosen to do that. Because you are in control of what you do and how you feel. And sometimes it really is that simple to just decide to relax. And you can do that just by telling yourself, say, I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax my mind. I'm going to relax my body. I'm going to relax my brain. And you know... You know, if you had that same 
emotions and that same determination that you have when you say something and you mean it. You know, when you say something and you you really, really mean it. Not in an angry way. Not even in a forceful way. But you mean it. And when you say something you mean, there's no self-doubt in that. There's no going back. There's no, you don't question yourself. You know when you say something that you mean. You know. You really know. So I guess all I'm saying is when you say the words to yourself, mean it. Really mean it. Test it out. See if it works for you. Not just for relaxation. It could be for anything. When you want a change to occur in your life, you want do you want to feel a certain way. Tell yourself that you want to feel that way and mean it. Really mean it. Like one hundred percent mean it. And just see what happens and see and experience the positive benefits that come from 